Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you the new build that Microsoft released uh, last night and the build is um, from Redstone um, it, the build with number 14322.1000 and this build actually it's quite a big um, big update or big build because it got many um, not many but uh, quite a few improvements on, on the system uh, many bug fixes, um, they changed a bit the system and I saw that you guys want me to tell you if, you, if I recommend the builds or not and this build I can recommend like 50-50 because the battery got improved from the last redstone build which whew, it's much better but still not at 100% stable but the uh, applications that that are made for Windows Phone 8.1 that couldn't start on the latest uh, build they still don't start on this build and the fix to start them is you change the it change them from SD cards to internal memory and that that way they work so so far this is my only problem that this application doesn't start any other problems that I had on previous build they kind of got fixed in this build so for that I recommend so I recommend it like 50 50 if you don't have SD card or if you don't install your applications on your SD card then install it but if you install everything on SD card and you don't have space in internal memory then I do not recommend to install because these applications will not start it's not ev every applications but if applications like the 6 tag, 6 16 and stuff like that they don't start if they are installed on SD card so yeah let's see how this build works because uh, it got some quite good improvements so let's see Okay guys, so let's start, start from the beginning and the first uh, addition or improvement is uh, you have here now on the lock screen the camera button and to launch this camera button you just press on it and it will start, start the camera. Uh, I do not use it but for who use it uh, then that's fine. Uh, but also they got improved like the glance screen, now you see it takes kind of a few time sometime until it appears on the screen or I think I just disable it um, yeah I think I disabled it but the gl glance screen uh, Microsoft again they give us some uh, options and then they remove it see when you type glance screen there is two glance screens and again uh, I think they will remove one of them but at the moment yeah, yeah I turn it off at the moment you have two glance screens um, you see here, this is the glance, glance screen from the setting, settings, and then the other one, glance screen, and the other one from extra, no, this is from the extra, and then the other one from the settings, it's a bit different, this one, this one you see, you have uh, other options, but I mean, both kind of do the same, let's turn it off now, and yeah, now appears on the lock screen, now appears on the lock screen, but... You know, you know, there's there was one option which, when the glance screen goes off and you pass with the hand on top on the here on on the sensor, the glance screen come comes up. But now this options this option it went it went down, so there's no more option. This option, and as you can see here now on the settings, you have also the, the color here on the search. And they kind of change the settings now. When every setting, when you go in every settings, they have icons for every, for everything. You see, icons for everything. You go in extra, also everything. And now on update, they kind of also changed a bit. And you can, when I, you go in phone update, uh, now here's a bit also changed. And I'm, go, I'm see that it will come in the next build. For example, I think because when you go in advanced option. There, there is choose how updates are installed so I guess the Windows Insider will come here um, but I'm not sure yet and then uh, another update um, you go in personalization they kinda also got kinda everything here on the personalization you see glance screen come here in the personalization and then one uh, a big update one improvement that many people were asking where is it a system notifications and actions uh, now you can rearrange the notifications and when you can add or this one was there you can add what you want 
but this one you can now you can move for example you see here let's see uh, I have uh, all settings here and automatic here let's change all settings with automatic come on yeah, now it changed where is the brightness of oh, brightness is here so you see seller come here and all settings come here but I do not want like that I want my settings to to be here <laughs> I want settings here, motherfucker. Yeah, okay, now it's like this, it's good, but th that's ma what many people were asking to have this option. And now, when you go also here into the battery, battery also got changed. Uh, uh, not history. I don't know if the battery got changed for better or for worse, but it's. You don't have more that graphic here. Uh, I mean, you have still, still the battery information, and then you have the detailed battery use. But I mean, I don't know if this is a better improvement or worse improvement, but yeah, <laughs> it, it got changed. Um, now, one more improvement was on Edge, which finally, uh, Edge, uh, the, the tabs they close. Okay, so I was trying to here to the tabs they close when it close tabs. And now the tabs, the tabs closed. There's no the tabs do, doesn't respond. And one addition that they made, at least that addition that you can see. For example, let's go type HLTV. And now if I go back, but now there is go forward. So it goes forward. Let's open HLTV. I don't understand why Microsoft didn't like put the slide to go forward or do like this slide and go forward. You now you, you have to go here and then go forward here. Let's go back because this option was in Windows Phone 7, but now you have to go here. But I guess well, thank you Microsoft that you put this option at least at least here because sometimes you go back uh, without want to go back and then you can go forward but I mean it will be nice to have these slides to go forward but I guess at least at least it's good that it's here because Microsoft kinda gives us some options but then they take that options from us ah uh, Microsoft then uh, one option uh, one option not option but uh, the apps that I say that uh, they do not w that in previous build they didn't work they still don't work in this build at least I didn't do a hard reset. If you have, if you install this build, guys, and uh, if you do, if you did the hard reset, let me know if the applications work. But as you can see, the applications that didn't work in my previous build, they still do not work here. The RAM management is, I like the RAM management. It got even better than the last, than, than the last build, than the previous build. You see, if I go home, I come back. It still stays this menu and rem remember on the previous build when I show you Windows Central for example when you open Windows Central let's open and then I go to home let's let it load for example it loaded and when you go home and if I go back to Windows Central the application was just going to crash and now it took some time to think but it come back so the application doesn't crash anymore let's let it in background and the battery the battery got improved at least in my uh, in my device I have 75% but I took it from charge like uh, 10 minutes ago but it wasn't 100% so the battery got improved and last night I, che I checked it I went to sleep with uh, 45% and when I wake up it was uh, 39% so like 6% six, six during the night it's okay better than which I, which was the previous build and you see here also the notifications they got changed a bit and I saw when you get more and more emails for example it will not show you all the emails down it will show you here like expand button but here you can see it got like a bit uh, changed a bit smaller Na and that's nice um, what more and kinda that's it the um, I like how they changed the icons, they kind of rearranged the, the settings, but it's still, I mean, it's a good direction that Microsoft is going, but still not quite uh, good because you can see glance screen, there is two glance screens, then they took that option from the glance screen, which it was this uh, movement, you see, <laughs> this goes off even though I put it on, 
Um, but you see, there's no option which that option was peak, I think peak, where you put the hand and the glance screen appears. Uh, but yeah, and I mean, this build is kind of stable, at least for now. Let's try some gaming. But, and also the that screen flickering, you know, when you was watching a video, I will show you after th this game. The screen flickering got fixed also, which, phew, that screen flickering was annoying as fuck. But uh, still, now for me, the only problem that I see, uh, maybe the battery can improve even better, but it's better than previous. Uh, it's the applications that don't start. But yeah, I mean, gaming, it's, it's fine. Let's go down. Touch to start. Come on, next. Uh, just start fast. Play anyway. Just start them fast, and just to show you that gaming, it's it's pretty okay. And now it doesn't get warm like it was getting on the previous build. Which I made a video in the previous video on previous build that that build was. Uh, I do not recommend that build. That build is was really really bad as you can see it it runs okay <coughs> hope it's not boring this game for you let's I will do until I crash I will s stop playing until I crash okay oh 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 and I'm gonna crash here, I think. Yeah. Okay. I crashed. Okay, let's try to go back to the game. Now I go to see how it, the RAM management works. And... It will crash or it will not crash? It doesn't even go to the back. To, okay, it goes back. Oh, it, go, it went back to straight to the, the game. Okay, let's pause. But so it took some time, but still at, at least doesn't lose the application, which is nice. Let's try to go s to the Windows Central to see if it's still there. Yeah, if it's it's still there, which is now the RAM management got fixed. And yeah, let's uh, let me show you the s screen flicker that got fixed. And yeah, that's mostly it. I mean, there is many more improvements, bug inf bug fixes, which I'll not show you all now, because I mean. To show you all, uh, it's, it will be impossible because the list is very big uh, for for what Microsoft did. Didn't click. Um, but I will uh, leave a link to to the improvement that Microsoft did. And you know, remember on the previous video when I was just clicking on the screen, the screen flicker was going nuts. Or if you scroll this uh, notification it was also going nuts or when you were receiving a, a message the screen flicker was going insane which finally got improved so yeah uh, this is the the build guys oh i didn't show you the build damn it so, so distracted um this is the build uh, 14322.1000 but i see the, the search bar here also got improved because it has the color here around, which wasn't there. Um, but yeah, I like how Microsoft, the direction Microsoft is going. Um, at least we have a, a bit more stable Redstone build. But until this uh, Redstone build, build will be finished, like in uh, June or July, when they say that they will launch it officially, it's still a long way to go, but it's good that the improvements are coming. And yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments if you, ha if you install this build and if you you did a hard reset or something like that and if the applications that didn't start on previous build if they start on this build for me it doesn't start but maybe that's not for everyone but yeah thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next one